Looking to get rid of unnecessary cables on your desk? Then a wireless mouse and keyboard is a great option. Hi, I'm GeekSquad Agent Meister from Best Buy, and I have tips on both setting it up with your computer as well as how to troubleshoot any problems you may encounter along the way. The good news is that wireless mice and keyboards are pretty straightforward to add to your computer. Usually once you unbox them, you'll find three major components, the mouse, the keyboard, as well as a small USB transmitter. Some wireless mice have a space on the bottom for their USB transmitter to be stored while transporting. So if you can't find the transmitter when unboxing, check the mouse first. If you have a rechargeable mouse or keyboard, the docking station that charges it will often have the transmitter built into it. Next, install the batteries in both devices, making sure that they're aligned with the symbols in the battery compartment. Now, it's not uncommon for the keyboard to use differently sized batteries than the mouse, so be sure to check your manual for the correct sizes. Then, slide any power switches on. Your keyboard may not have a switch as it's typically powered by pressing any key. Finally, plug the USB transmitter into any free USB port on your computer. Now, your computer may take a moment to recognize the new hardware and install any needed device drivers the first time you connect. The first step is to make sure that your devices are getting power and that the batteries are not worn out or installed improperly. Check that any power switches, like that on the bottom of the mouse, haven't been accidentally turned off. On your keyboard, you should see the num lock and caps lock indicators toggle on or off when those keys are pressed. A red or blue light from the mouse sensor should be seen when the mouse is lifted slightly off the desk. If your problems are intermittent, it's likely that the batteries are weak. Replacing the batteries with a fresh set will often resolve most issues and is one of the most common troubleshooting steps. If your keyboard's working fine, but your mouse isn't, it may be a problem with the uh, surface that it's on. While mouse pads are best, you may not always have one available. A great temporary fix for this is just to put down a piece of paper and use that as a temporary mouse pad. Now, another troubleshooting step is to make sure that both of the devices are talking to the USB receiver and you may need to resync those. First remove and then reinsert the USB transmitter. Some transmitters, especially those that act as recharging docks, may have a sync button on them. More typically though, you'll want to look for a button that's on the bottom of both the mouse and the keyboard that may say connect, sync, or pair. Press the button on each device to reconnect it to your transmitter. From there, you'll want to make sure that you're running the latest software for your system. For Windows, that means checking for any updates through Windows Update, as well as checking the manufacturer's website for any new device drivers. Now, if you're still having problems with your hardware, it may be with the actual device itself versus your computer. A great way to check this is to try it with a different computer if possible. And with that, you should be up and running. We hope you found these tips helpful. Thanks for watching.